Hello and welcome to this video on the mean, mode, median and range from listed data. Now sometimes we'd want to numerically summarise data in some kind of way. And one way we can summarise some data is to have some notion of average, which kind of gives you like a typical value for that data. And there's different types of averages which we'll explore. You've got the mean of some data, the mean average, you've got the mode, and you've got another kind of average, you've got median, so there's actually three different types of well-known average. And then you've also got measures of spread, so that summarises how spread out the data is. For example, if the values don't vary by very much, then the spread is quite small. If the values vary a lot, then we say the spread is large, and we have different ways of measuring spread. One of those ways is called the range. And in another video, we'll see something called the interquartile range. And if you do A-level maths, you'll see other measures such as the standard deviation and variance of data, but we definitely won't explore those here. So let's just do these examples so we can see the different types of averages. We've got this list of data here. We've got two, three, three, four, and nine. Now let's start with the mode first. The mode is the most common value. And that seems a sensible average. It's basically saying what value is most common and we'll take that as a sort of average value. And what's good about the mode is it also works for non-numerical data. Let's just say you ask some people in your class what their favourite colour was and you've got a list of colours. You've got like red, green, 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 blue. Then you know the most common colour, the favourite colour was green and you could state green as the average. So we can see in this particular case, three is most common. So the mode is equal to three. Now the median is the middle value. And to find the middle value, you first need to put the values in ascending order. So they are in this particular case. So we look at the middle value and we can see the middle value is three. Again, we'll see what happens in a second if there isn't a middle value because there's an even number of items. And then finally, we've got the mean, and what the mean does is to take all the values into account. And what we do is we add up all the values and then we divide by how many values there are. So it's equal to the sum of the values divided by the number of values we have. So in this case, if we add our values up, we've got 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9, which equals to 21. And then we divide by how many values there are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. And then we do 21 divided by 5, which is equal to 4.2. So we can see we get a slightly different average to these other two. The averages could all be exactly the same, these three different types, um, and they could all be different as well. And we finally want the range, so let's write the range here. The range is basically like the width of the data. What's the distance between the smallest value and the largest value? And that does seem like a sensible uh, measure of spread because it's showing how spread out it is by giving you like, the width of the data. So we just have to do the maximum minus the minimum to get that distance between the first and last values. So it's 9 minus 2 which is equal to 7. And just to note that range is not an average. It's not an average, it's measuring spread. Right, let's do B. Now this time the values are not in ascending order. We've got 4, 0, 5, 7, 5, minus 3. So let's put them in ascending order first. So negative 3 is the smallest. Then we've got 0, and then we've got 4, and then we've got 5 twice, and then we've got 7. So now we can find our values from before. Let's find the mode first. That's probably the easiest one. What's the most common value? Well, it's five, so we have five. And by the way, it's possible for data not to have a mode. If there's no most common value, then there is no mode. What about the median? Now, if we look in the middle, let's count towards the middle. Duh, duh, duh. Can you see that we've got two middle values? So we're kind of effectively trying to find what's in between those two values. And what we do is we find the value that's halfway between those two middle values. Now you might be able to get that by observation. We can see halfway between four and five would be four and a half, i.e. 4.5. But to find the middle of two values, you could just add the two up and divide by two. So if we add them up, four plus five, and divide by two, nine divided by two, is indeed 4.5, but you can often get that by observation, by just seeing what's halfway between the two middle values. And that happens whenever you have an even number of values because there won't be any middle value. 
And finally, the mean, we just add them up and divide by how many values there are. So they add up to minus 3 plus 0 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 is 18, divided by the number of values there are, which is 6. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. And you can see all our different averages were different this time. And by the way, the actual sound of the word helps us to remember what kind of average is which. So mode sounds like most, so mode most common, and median sounds like middle, median, middle, mode, most. And the mean is like the mean one because you have to do the most calculation. That's a way you might be able to remember those. Uh, we finally got the range which is the maximum value, 7, subtract the smallest value, minus 3. Now 7 minus negative 3 is 7 plus 3, which is 10. We can see the difference between the smallest and the largest value is 10. Now, we've got this second question here where we're given the averages and we have to find out what the numbers are. So if four numbers have a mode of four, a median of five, and a mean of six, determine the four numbers. Now, what I like to do with this kind of question is to put four boxes to represent the four numbers. And we're gonna put our numbers in ascending order. Now, we can see that they have a median of five, so we know this middle point here, halfway between the two middle numbers, we've got the number 5. And we can also see we have a mode of 4. So 4 must be the most common value. But 4 is less than 5. So to have a mode, we require that both of these numbers, these bottom two, must be 4. Now we can use the fact that the middle value is 5 to work out this number. Well, 5 is halfway between 4 and what? Well, 5 is halfway between 4 and 6. So we know that number has to be 6. And we're nearly there we know that the mean is six, and we can use that to find the last value. Now, if you think about it, how would we find the mean? We would add up the values, and then divide by how many values there are, i.e. four, and that would give you six. Now, what divided by four gives you six? Well, we can do the opposite. Six times four is 24. So the total of the values, is 4 times 6, the number of values times by the mean, which is 24. And then, well, we know these three here add up to 14, so therefore this last number must be 24 minus 14, which equals to 10. So that last value there was 10.